Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make bases like the ones in the track Uh Uh by Document One. <laughs> so, this is the original version. Let's go. And we're going to be taking a look at this base right here. Let's go. Yeah. But before we get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch. And the first thing we're going to do is just to set up a simple pitch bend movement with one semitone of range from the top going down like this. That's it. That's the whole movement. Then we're going to go into oscillator A, we're going to load a sine wave, and then we're going to add our own harmonics here. So we're going to add bin number one, then three, then five, and then seven. As you can see, it's just the odd harmonics. Now don't worry about the percentages, just worry about the principle, which is adding the odd harmonics to have this type of tonality in the bass, and then experiment with those, because... Once again, even though we're making recreations, you want to make your own original sounds. And speaking about being able to create your own original sounds, you can learn to do so by getting our program DMB Foundations, where we have two courses towards sound design. We have sound design fundamentals in case you're a complete beginner. And then we also have synthesis supply if you want to learn more about how to use synthesis in a real life situation inside the doll. So continuing with the video, once we have this tone, Everything else is really simple. We just need to map another four into a level and make a rising shape like this. Then turn on the sub and do the same movement there. Let's bring the master a little bit lower. There you go. And then let's turn on B, load A sine wave and then boost the sine with two octaves up, minus five semitones. So this is equivalent of one semitone up and then seven semitones higher, however you want to do it, and then make the same movement there. So let's break down the oscillators. So the sub, then B is just one harmonic, and then A is a whole harmony. If you want to learn more about the FFT workflow, Abyss talks a lot about this in his start to finish course. So if you're interested in this very advanced sound sign, you can check out his course on the MB Academy. The link is in the description below. Now for effects, let's just go into the distortion. Bring the tube a little bit lower, or let's actually, let's use a soft clipper. There you go. Then let's add a chorus. Nice. And then we can play with the rate. Then boost the mix. And then let's boost the master. Now for post processing, it's really simple. I just added an EQ and this harmonic right here, I added an EQ bell that gets boosted as it progresses. So that one gets higher as the bass happens. And then a simple saturator to add a bit more gain. So if we listen to this in the context of the track, and now let's listen to this. So yeah, that's how you make that type of basses. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass, the link is in the description below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and support channel by sharing this with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this resource. That's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.